Miss traffic cone is gone. We know sounds weird, but an eight foot traffic cone presumably made by a neighbor to draw attention to a huge pothole. It's disappeared and in New Orleans fashion, of course, people decided to pay tribute to the special cone. Here's Paul Dudley with the saga of King Cone. This is one of those only in New Orleans stories all day today. People have been showing up to pay their respects to a traffic cone. On the corner of Constance and Washington. It's always nice to bring a little humor into a sad situation. People are remembering an eight foot traffic cone. <laughs> so beautiful. If you can't laugh at it, then, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what else you can do. Nicknamed King Cone, it first appeared in March on top of a large hole in the street. But days after making its debut, King Cone has disappeared. You can see the car. Uh, riding down the street with the big cone on top oh of it. God. Ian Hull was able was to catch the people snagging the cone on his cell phone. I Take think it was an opportune crime of opportunity and you know the cone was kind of making the rounds on the internet anyway. So with King Cone gone, a tribute was born on Easter Sunday of all days. And on Sunday was the Easter miracle, the resurrection of the cone. <laughs> the tribute is complete with an angel cone, a marker saying never forget, and a sign urging people to adopt a catch basin and create water retention friendly landscaping, tactics used to help reduce potholes. It's very New Orleans for somebody to come and make something fun and showy. As for where King Cone is now, neighbors have their theories. I imagine it's sitting in someone's backyard right now, somewhere. The people who made it brought it to another famous pothole <laughs> and needed to visit. If that's the case, there are plenty of potholes to pick from. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. That is certainly a, only a New Orleans story. It's unknown who created either cone. Sewage and Water Board says it certainly wasn't them, but as for when the pothole will actually be fixed, the Department of Public Works tells us they're aware of the hole and working on a timeline for its repair. Once they begin working on it, they believe it'll take 30 days to fix, weather permitting. So, Chris, give us some good news. <laughs>